All right, good morning, everybody. Let's try this again. <laughs> uh, I hit the wrong button and everything disappeared. So, uh, we've got the chat up, we've got that up. Let's get this camera fixed. Um, it make me small. Uh, real quick, what I just went over, we're using this metalwork uh, acid core solder. It's like resin core or rosin core. Um, we're going to be using this pair of tweezers. This third hand thingy here. Uh, let me get this camera fixed. See if that fixed it. All right, that fixed it. Okay. So I got to get this order done pretty quick. So we're just going to dive in. Let me get the autofocus shut off here. Autofocus off. Split this. And we should be good. Um, and oops there we go okay everything's set <laughs> uh let's go oh and you're gonna want glasses a pair that you can preferably see through So I don't have a whole lot of time today, so theoretically this should be short, probably about half hour. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm keeping the side of the tweezers that are inside the handle. That's my side. So the back side is the, pair, the side of the tweezers that is exposed and where I put this clip is right at the bottom of the inside of the pliers so that I can have pressure from here and I'm just moving this up it's keeping downward pressure um, then we're going to take our spoon We're going to get this straight, so it's straight towards me, and I'm going to turn my vise so that I see that it's straight this way and it's not leaning sideways. There we go. Make sure that's straight. Sometimes the shape of the handle will throw that that look off. I don't want a tiny flame, but I want, I don't want a giant flame either because I don't want to, um, I don't want to burn off the silver plate. little bit more heat so I just get that just enough to where it starts to flow I'm gonna heat just this bottom piece and I'm gonna feed this through from the back side so I'm put my torch on this side still focused at the bottom and I'm just gonna give it enough 
solder to go all the way around. You want it all to kind of connect. There we go. I'm spraying up here on the shaft or the, the handle. And then wiggle it, make sure it's not loose and put it in your water. Excuse me one sec, I will be right back. Sorry about the delay. Had to help my wife. Okay, so let's do the second one. Good morning, Cynthia. I'm becoming addicted to watching you make your flatware creations. I'm gonna have to try doing this, maybe start with rings. Rings are definitely easy. Uh, these are really easy um, with just a hacksaw and um, something round to bend the handles and a hammer to flatten the spoons. These are super easy to make, um, but the rings are a lot of fun. Um, the trick to these is that downward pressure And I have another live that I did day before yesterday that shows bending the spoons. So that we could get our bud vases, glasses. Trying a new screen set up so I can see more of what's happening. I just went live a few minutes ago and I couldn't find the chat and then I ended up hitting the wrong button and <laughs> ended the whole stream. So I'm heating up this side. I'm keeping it on this where the uh, where the knife handle hits the spoon. 
and I'm going to feed this in from the back side. Once it gets hot enough, it should pretty much feed itself and work its way around towards the heat. Sometimes it doesn't. Come on there, buddy. There we go. Water. Spraying the knife handle and letting the water run down helps you have a, a nice clean solder joint. Make sure it's solid and into the water. She's doing okay today. Thank you, Jeff. And we repeat. So I think I have 53 of these to do. Oh, this one, the spoon is off. So I'm gonna try twisting it. Oh, this is going to be one of the hard ones. That should do it. Pretty close. Make sure it's straight this way. All right. And we'll just go try and go full speed here. Um, yeah, so this will be a short live. We have an appointment today. When I touched just now, it moved the knife handle. A lot of times you can just tap it back with that with your torch but that's the one of the key parts about having that downward pressure that downward pressure keeps your spoon or keeps your handle from wanting to jump jump up so this stuff does not like to feed like my other stuff so I gotta get used to that and it looks like it has to be hotter to um To really be able to get that solder to wrap around. So this is a new pattern for me. It's got a really pretty pattern up here. Cool. I got a pretty handle for it too. Pretty bud vase or spoon. I can't talk today. I thought I had all these done. There it went. Let's try this again. So you want to get it at the two axes. You want it straight up this way. And you want it straight up this way. So I'm going to give myself a little bit more heat here. I'm going to hear it hiss a little bit more. And I'm just heating the one spot that I'm soldering.
again watch until it flows and then as soon as it flows I take the heat off of it so I know it takes more heat now so let's see if this works now There it went. And you can kind of see whenever it connects. The other day I ran out of solder. So I had to skip a day. Man, how did that one get off too? I did all these the other day. When I did the flattening. Um, I've been trying to make it a large part of the business. The special orders are, or the wholesale orders are so much easier because I can just pump out the product. I don't have to set up my canopy or, um, travel. Um, and then these are made for a certain customer. So she likes them a certain way. Um, I actually replaced a, a guy that she had making them, um, he retired and she saw me and got a hold of me. Uh, she sent me a couple pictures and about an hour later, well, less than an hour later, um, I had a technique and pattern down for it. Um, we used to do shows almost every weekend and we we love doing the shows but uh i have a really bad back and it, some days are better than others and then my wife got sick and covid happened at the same time so that pretty much ended our shows um, I did one show by myself the other day, just a little local show, um, but it was a lot. <laughs> I, I still took a bunch of stuff that I haven't sold, like a bunch of stuff that I have up on um, Etsy and on um, our website, flowercreations.com, two S's. Um, And I had a good day. It was fun. Uh, but yeah, I most of our work now is wholesale or special orders. Um, orders for weddings and uh, a lot of custom order dogs. Um, we make our fork dogs. And uh, you can send us a picture of your puppy and as long as I get a good profile shot a shot of the the side of the face or head and the tail um, I can get pretty close I mean I am working within the confines of a fork but I can get the shape pretty good Those are always fun.
and challenging. Right now I'm working on a project that's taking forever. Um, I've had to do almost everything from scratch. Um, it's for my niece and it's a sterling silver ring and I think the stone is alexandrite um, it's a color changing stone it's like red to green or something like that um, it's four millimeter by five or six millimeter no it's smaller than that Um, but everything that I cut out for it and I use on it I end up being a hair short and then whenever I compensate for that little bit of extra almost made it Um, definitely a learning experience. And repeat. But this is the key right here, getting this piece, having that tension on there. That is the most important part of this. That one's way off. And you want to remember, just because it looks straight up against the, the spoon or whatever you're using, um, I've done a lot with forks too, um, doesn't mean that it's straight up and down. So try and find a reference behind it. I've done a lot of work with wood and wanted to get into some wood projects, but my body is now for whatever reason allergic to every species of wood oh no I've been tested so I'm shifting gears to jewelry so I started um, I've done a lot of construction and and things like that so my brain uh, works in that same same way that creative ability um, from working with the wood will really help carry over into making jewelry because um, the wood projects are the same type of thing it's uh yeah I have to get this a lot hotter not a fan of that I mean it works it's gonna do the job but um, so that one's too loose so I'm gonna push this down to get my pressure um, with um, doing the the wood projects you have basically an order in which you're doing everything it's the same thing with the silverware jewelry. It's uh, repeating, and then uh, then you have your happy little accidents, your mess ups, and you kind of have to look at them a little differently. And you end up coming up with something weird and someone likes it 
and now you have to figure out how to make it a bunch more times. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a fun process. Um, I have, I think, over 250 videos on here, including the live streams. Um, and if you need any help, any questions or anything, uh, I'm generally available to answer questions. Yeah, it, it definitely helps having that background. All right, what time is it? 11.53. So I think I've got enough time for two more and then I've got to head out for our appointment. So close. So this way I'm just trying to make sure that the handle is pointed the same way as the knife. And I refill these bottles. There's a lot of videos on how to refill them. It's like a $10 part that hooks on to your big uh, propane tank for your grill and I take out my my kitchen scale and I just I'll probably do 10 bottles at a time so I always have enough propane It just won't make it all the way around. It's so close. But it's so hot. Like normally I could spray this and I don't know if you can see it. But see how the water is kind of fuzzing as it goes down? Normally it would be cool by then. Yes, yeah, so a trailer, we actually thought about doing that. Um, we were looking at uh, not necessarily a toy hauler, um, but something similar that had enough storage and room and uh, that had some outdoor space that I could work, like an outdoor table or um, uh, and then lots of storage for our, our show stuff. Because if you're mobile, if you're going to want to do shows, that's where most of the money is, is in the shows. And if you're mobile, you can make, make products whenever you're at camp or at home. And then uh, what I do, what I did was I do a lot of the metal work at home and then whenever I get to the show, I can continue building stuff, but it's more of putting stuff together. So like the snails, I'll get their shell bent and then I'll just leave them straight. Um, I think I have one here. I just saw it yesterday. Here, snail, snail, snail. There we go. So this is a snail. All right. 
so this is going to be our last one. Focus for a second, Jeremy. You can do it. Woohoo! Um, yeah, it takes a lot of water to cool those down. Okay, so where was I? So this is a snail. So I'll bend this with my press and then whenever I get to the show, I'll take and I'll use my tool here and I'll bend these back. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> and focus. Get these off so I can actually see. There we go. Okay. Um, whenever I get to the show, I can just bend this. Uh, two things. It keeps you working. So even if the show is slow, you're still working. And um, here, tool, tool, tool. Oh, there you are. Um, you're always creating more product. So I've got the legs bent back. Bend this guy up and over, up and over. We'll give this guy some eyeballs. see that can't quite see it and I didn't do this guy before because these tines are super hard to bend and one more tool my little flat pliers here we can turn the eyeballs over the kids really like to watch and see the bugs being made. Tilt that back a little bit. And then straightening these guys out so they sit flat. Boop, boop. Here we go. Um, but that, that was the biggest trick for me. Get your... Time to be done. Um, get your metal work all done. And then whenever you get to the show, you can continue finishing the process. Uh, it saves you time. It shows that you're working. So people are actively interacting with you and they come into your booth because they see you creating. Um, a lot of people that helps add value and um, I'm not gonna it's not rarity but it's uh, something that they got to see as an attraction kind of thing um, yeah I'll probably have to do a video on on that but definitely a lot of information there um, it is a lot of fun and if you're traveling the shows are endless and they go all year long yeah no problem Jeff so I gotta head out guys uh, thank you for joining me I will get this set to stop streaming and uh, if you haven't yet please subscribe um, share the videos I'm gonna try uploading a bunch of videos onto Facebook um, because I thought the videos were pulled from YouTube onto Facebook, but they're not. So I have a whole bunch of videos to transfer over. So if you follow us on um, Instagram or Facebook, you'll start to see some of those pop up, some of the finished ones, not the lives. The lives are just too long for everybody.
But I'll see you later.